SoCol 310 Vintage USSR made radio repair. Even though this thing appears new old stock, uh, it does not work. AM and long wave bands. You could just tell by the condition of this in here that it almost looks like it was never used. I put batteries in it yesterday and it uh, just makes static. Of course like most all of the Soviet stuff the nice thing about it is uh, schematics and diagrams and service parts and all that parts manuals and are all easily available easy to find service data on these USSR made stuff Soviet era CCCP whatever you want to call it You can pick this stuff up off of eBay, relatively inexpensive. Parts list, wow, the user manual has a parts list in it. Turn radio on, listen to propaganda. Okay, let's... Um, I'm going to figure out how to get it open. I guess I could put batteries in it and we could listen to it. Maybe it'll work today. Okay, we put the string underneath so we can get the Duraleak batteries out after, after they destroy the radio. And then we install the brand new Duraleak batteries which will be leaking and eating the radio up within six months. Weird, it sounds like it's tuning a station in, but the tuning capacitor has no effect. I wonder if it's just a dirty band switch keeping it from connecting the tuning capacitor. Okay, let me figure out how to get this apart. Looks like this... How do you get this apart? I worked on another one of these. I might have to go through and look at my video on how to... Looks like there's a screw there, but it's spotted. Here's what it looks like on the inside. They had started using Japanese capacitors, it looks like, by this time, but the rest of it looks pretty Soviet flavored. It's a little Soviet transistors. So I got it powered up here, 6 volts. Uh, I am going to tweak on this, the tuning capacitors the trimmers are not in the the trimmers are not in the main capacitor here the main tuning capacitor they're on the board there's four of them 
So there's uh, antenna trimmer for long wave, um, oscillator for long wave, antenna trimmer for broadcast, uh, oscillator for broadcast. So let me see if So that's obviously the oscillator for AM broadcast, I, the first one I touched. Weird how it sounds, weird how it sounds distorted when you're off the station. You know what, some of that could be my current limiting light bulb. I'm going to put that back about where it was. Oh, I remember you. This is our Caltrans son. So that's right at the top of the band. How the hell does this just continuously rotate? Okay, what's going on here? Okay, so we were tweaking C5. C5 is that one that I was twisting so let's see C5 is that one so that's just across the oscillator coil but that should come up and connect okay so this switch shifts it from this oscillator coil for long, I don't know which one's which. Well, okay, so this is long wave is that way. So this is for long wave, this is for medium wave. So if that switch wasn't working, it would not connect the, it wouldn't connect the tuning capacitor into circuit. We need to check this switch. We even got a diagram down here, the pinout of our switch. So we need to make sure that 2 and 3 connect and 1 and 2 connect. And it even shows you here which is 1, 2, and 3. So 2 and 3 are making contact. 8 and 9 are not making contact. And 11 and 12 are poor contact. I'll tell you what we can do to easily solve this is just bypass this because we don't have long wave and we're never going to have long wave and there's no reason to have long wave so it might just be easier for reliability sake to just bypass this um, just put little jumpers on the bottom not take the switch out just so it's always stuck in that would mean if you flipped it to long wave that it would uh, a bunch of stuff would be bridged, but would it hurt anything? I don't think so. You know, it's highly probable that the plates are slipping on the shaft inside this capacitor. I've seen that before. Shaft rotates, and maybe that's why we have no... In fact, that's more likely than the switch being a problem, is that the, 
the tuning capacitor is bad and that's why it just spins band switch delete has taken place it's permanently in a broadcast band here we go let's see what happens sounds exactly the same yep gotta be a bad tuning capacitor These are good radios when they work. They're sensitive, they're selective, they're good radios. Let's see, just before we totally condemn it, um, this is this one's fixed. This one, this is the antenna trimmer. This line here indicates the the main tuning capacitor. These two are connected together. This is the antenna trimmer, this is the oscillator. So that was on the switch that was pin uh, 1, 2, and 3, and we know we bridged one, 2 and 3 together, so there's no way that this is a problem. But let's just check this connection from 3 to the tuning capacitor. Let's see. Come over here. We got 3. Was it three or was it two? It's two that connects to the tuning capacitor. So two comes here through a bridge over to the tuning capacitor. So let's check from two to this point right here. We got the two tuning capacitors. So that would be, let's see, it's right there. It'd be a dream come true if it was an open solder trace, wouldn't it? It is this right here. This right here. So it needs to be continuity from there to there. And we do have continuity. So looking like tuning capacitor I guess I could check the ground on the tuning capacitor but what are the odds that that's open so this is kind of interesting I'm desoldering this tuning capacitor and the what they show on the diagram is the pin for ground is not even there see they show this as the pin that doesn't mean that it's not getting it somewhere else but in fact, it's probably getting the ground right here. That's probably what that is. These things do fail. Um, you know, I'm taking it apart. And I've had almost no luck fixing them. They do fail. They do rub through and ground out. They fail. And you can see that it looks like exactly what happened. The plates are not turning yep see these brass plates should be turning and they are just free spinning how is that even possible You know, I, I used to have a source to get parts for Russian stuff, but now, of course, yeah, that part of the world is completely cut off, unfortunately, but what the hell happened to this? That looks completely malleolated. Look at that. completely malleolated.
And they put this glue on there so you can't disassemble it. I mean, I'm looking at it and it's just completely trashed. I wonder if I have another one of these or something close to it. It's like all bent. Looks like it's a uh, 4 to 270, 4 to 270. This is what I got for parts radios, and this one would probably physically fit, uh, but the, the front, this is totally different. Where the, so that, Zero TK five. Does this one have a five TK two? I wonder if that's the part number. And then there's this, which I used. This one would probably work, but this one's bad. I used this in another radio. Um, this is way too big. This would probably work, but it's way too big. At least I think it's way too big. How could all the plates be broken away from the shaft? That seems like that would take an incredible amount of torque. Bark point cigar rash. I might have to disassemble this thing just to see how the hell this happened. Took the back off. You can see how that's slipping. I want to know is that keyed or what? So this bolt was loose right here. This little n nut was loose. I probably need Set that right there. This crap is just too damn small. I'm getting too damn old to work on this small crap. So what the hell, this is not keyed. This is just friction fit and the frickin' nut was loose. This is not keyed. So why shouldn't I be able to just put this back together and tighten it up? Just kind of line all this crap up. But anyway, while we're in here, you could see How this works it's literally just a ground plate actually I think I th I wonder if these holes are used to line them all up during manufacturing but anyway yeah I should be able to fix this let me anyway it's just a stack of stuff and there's these these insulating layers and they're interesting, the holes are in those insulating layers too. I wonder if that's, when you're assembling it, how you set it all up before you tighten it down. You put everything and then you put a pin down through that hole. Let me look at this. So that looks like what it is because there's holes here, there's holes here. So we can easily do that, I think. Um, the problem is the bottom, the bottom has all come out. So let me see if I can line those up and get those back in. And yes, I do tighten that nut up and, and it starts to, they do start to rotate. So maybe we can fix it.
Okay, so seriously, like an hour later, uh, you see how I got those wires through there to hold it while I tighten it up? What a dumb design. Why is it not keyed? Would that be too much to key all those plates? Anyway, the copper plates, there's copper plates and brass plates. The copper plates are plastic coated, and it's very possible I damaged them, so it's going to rub and short out. But I'm going to tighten it down and we'll hope. Yeah, it's rubbed out. It's it's continuity. I checked it, so I'm going to need to replace it. Yeah, it was worth a try, I guess. R waste an hour of my life on that. I decided to just dump this tuning capacitor. I just took it apart and dumped it. And you can see exactly what happened because from the very beginning you know the tuning dial was just spinning in circles and um, you can see the plastic stops that and that are supposed to be the stops and it's in the middle of the stops right now you can see how it cut through there see how it cut right there that's not supposed to have that slot cut through it like that. It's supposed to stop here and here. So this is the inside and the copper plates are coated with I believe like a poly plastic poly material and they wear out. These are not like open air, open frame air capacitors. These are coated with plastic. They have a very thin layer of plastic on both sides. And the brass plates literally rub right on top of them. They, they sit, you know, right on top like that. And um, they wear through and some of them got damaged. That's why the thing was shorting. Maybe I could make a good one between this one and that other one I got. But yes, yeah, some of these, if you look at them, are like that one is damaged. See the, the plastic is peeling off of it. So yeah, maybe I can make one good one out of this between this. But this, this piece is bad. This piece is bad. And several... Uh, of the other pieces are bad and I guess the center shaft is ground I was wrong so all the brass the brass pieces are grounded and the moving pieces are grounded which would make sense and the copper plates are fixed I think that other one was shorted right on the top getting back to our so-called 310 I have this tuning capacitor that has touching plates. It's bad. This came out of another radio uh, and I pulled the one out of this parts board you're looking at. It was in a previous video. I'm going to disassemble this and see if I can find the assuming the plates are the same as these. Assuming this uses the same plates as came out of this one. I'm going to try and find which ones are touching where the plastic is missing and we'll restack it. The short on this one when you rotate it is in the top section of plates. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our wire in there to lock everything together. There's actually a hole through the plastic on this one that the wire falls through. So that locks our bottom plates together. Now I can take this bolt out nut off and start to unstack this and look for the short. Here's one, one side of it. This is a side that was grounding the, the plastic. Somewhere is damaged here. I can't seem to find it though. Um, I'm going to have to inspect this, but that's one side disassembled. It's what it looks like. It's all stacked in order. I think I found it. It's right here. 
that's bent down. So I don't know if the phone is a good straight edge, but you can see the one on the right is the one that came off of there, and it is not flat. It was probably striking the, the little tip of that uh, copper one, causing it to short. I'm going to replace that. With it all the way closed, the side that I did not work on measures 269 picofarads. The side I did work on measures 219 picofarads. What did I screw up? I don't understand this. I've looked at it and looked at it and looked at it, and I've got a 30 picofarad difference. And I don't even see how that's really possible. I got the same number of plates. I've counted them 10 times, top and bottom. Brass and copper, I don't get it. I've got it fairly close within a couple picofarads. And the way you do it is you sort of open and close these split plates on the top and bottom. That's how you dial it in. And I did it at several different points. I did it at like four or five different points. And it's pretty close. Okay, I've pretty much got it put back together. Uh, I put silicone. I put paint on the screws. Just like they had it. Uh, the tracking is not great. It's probably within five picofarads and they vary back and forth. But, you know, that's kind of what makes the radio perform good or bad is the tracking. And this is not great. Should be within one or two picofarads, I would think. But I'm not going to sit here and spend all day adjusting this either. All right, it's all put back in. I don't. It's all put back in and powered up. Six volts through our little current limiting light bulb. I don't hear anything yet. related causes or in the postpartum period additionally black infants uh, are dying more often too um, these are problems that are really unheard of for a developed country such as the united states so the the heart of the problem is that the vaccine okay so we're we're way off here we're way too low so when I put the plates back in, I probably didn't adjust them quite right. Crap. Let's see if we can move that up. I don't know which one of these does it. Let me see. It's not that one. Racism, implicit bias, that's the kind of the basket of issues that lead to these unfortunate and tragic outcomes for black women and black infants. So um, attention is being given to this as it should be uh, all across the country. Um, and if you do not have a pregnant person in your immediate family or your, your circle or someone who has recently delivered an infant, but you're still concerned about it, as we all should be, look into the organizations in your community that are working on this and do what you can to get involved. Obviously, there's always a need for ground folks in you the got trenches, it. trenches, nonprofits without a high dollar uh, value who are looking for volunteers to help them provide services and information to individuals. And if you are a pregnant person, um, make sure that you advocate for yourself and some partners with you if you don't have your, your father with you, some other partners who can be cheerleaders for you throughout your experience. Thank you so yeah, much I... for tuning in to Urban Wellness Now for this weekend. Hope you have a wonderful Major. From the Black Information Network. Taylor's parents, a black Louisiana toddler's funeral. The family of Devin Page Jr. says the NBA legend reached out to them this week. The three-year-old was killed Tuesday when a stray bullet hit him while he slept.
A University of Minnesota infectious disease specialist says hospitalizations are now the best way to gauge if COVID-19... <laughs> 의료는 나고 research into so that's what they're thinking about you what if i the anniversary of the first women's field in the boston marathon eight women started and all of them finished one is coming back this year to run again that's got to be KNX. You can hear the thing just completely overloads. In that first women's field in Boston 50 years ago, when they all most existing car loans or leased cars, new or used, and save you money every month. Put more money back in your pocket. The call is free to find out how low we can lower your car payment. Five minutes of your time right now could save you hundreds of dollars a year. Call right now. 800-450-5856. Seems pretty accurate. 800-450-5856. If that's 1090. Okay, that's the old Radio Disney. Boy, this thing is selective. Because there are two nutrients that Okay, that's the Patriot. Boy, this is a good radio. Vaccination clinic. Electric vehicles are taking indoor Nearly every other battery are hybrid on display. Get CBS News Radio on the Odyssey app. All the audio that matters to you is on Odyssey. Yeah, KNX just completely overloads it. This would be a hell of a DXer. Do you know what people see when they Google you? Yes. Search engines don't always get it right. So let's go. It's because unlike other spring leagues. They gave it a little bit of room after the Super Bowl, right? The other leagues, the XFL, the AAF, they started right after the Super Bowl, Steve. And a lot of us that watch a lot of football, we, we kind of are not over football by then, but just like, I need, a, I need a couple weekends off. I can't tell my family I'm watching. I See, the tracking game. is. We got the Super Bowl. So tonight. I... <laughs> If it needs it, that's right. I see. And what you just you just watched Todd go just if you prefer. LA tells the Wall Street Journal it's like Mad Men. As people return to their cubicles, they're being welcomed with cocktails, kegs, even at 858 56 Because they, they know how critical it is. They've got if you're a Jets fan, you get picks four. Fans fan five and seven, you can't miss. And then you get the second round mixed in with the Jets fans, and you get two pick, two more picks in the top forty. So be careful, Kuiper. Those New York fans are going to be after you. Yeah, I'm debating. Do I get him a running back in a second? What do I do with Brees Hall? We'll get to that in a minute, Todd. But you're right. There's always the need, the rating of a player, and then you get into okay, what are you going to do in round? Shampoo 하시는 방법이에요. 네. 우리가 이 샴푸를 television and in streaming and honestly I consider television at its best television scripted television and television drama to be a conversation with the audience mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. so you know the great thing about social media now is that it really allows that conversation to take place uh, a lot closer to real time than you know maybe you know 20 years ago or so so it's <laughs> Shampoo 전에 빗질을 먼저 
또 하나는 이제 잘못된 건조 방법이에요. 네네. It'd be cool if they replaced all this foreign language stuff with music. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me put it back together. I'm impressed. This is, this is one of the most time-consuming fixes I've ever done. I bet I got five or six hours into that stupid thing. Here it is all back together and it works really good. I'm, I got it on uh, K Mozart now. And listen to how much gain this thing has. Hear that? That's how you know it's going to be a good DX or you get all the, you can hear the background noise. KNX just overloads it. It just blows out. To get this money from the state of California, it is money that comes to the state from the feds, part of the one trillion dollar infrastructure investment. That's the null point. KNX towers this way. New ghost guns may soon be traceable under federal law. The Southern California officials say there's work to do on the state level. Every town can make your treatment. 100 companies selling ghost gun parts online. These components can be turned into actual firearms. In you will ever see, even in the likes of Tiger Woods. It's Mike Carter, Joe Lee, Shannon. 7 to 9 weeknights on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. So this is out of Tijuana. That's pretty good. Man, this is a hot radio. Equal opportunities for women and girls in all the areas of life, education, development, as well as the protection against violence and discrimination in any of its forms. We'll have to take this one out. All right, well, there's... One difficult repair of a SoCal 310 with a bad tuning capacitor. I'll never I'll never do this again. That's it.